Hi everybody! Today I am making some decals for my Starbucks tumbler. It's 24 ounces, so I wanted to be able to keep track of how many ounces I'm drinking. So I am making these little water drops with the number of ounces in them. Alright, so to make something like this, what you want to do is there's not a sh teardrop shape. So you go to shapes and you find a circle, okay? You can make it a little smaller, make it easier to work with. Then you open up shapes again and find, I used a diamond. I'm sure I could use a triangle too. Okay, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to unlock it and I'm going to make the shape by welding it together. And that's how we will get the teardrop. Just gotta make sure that they line up nicely. There we go, that looks pretty darn good. So, select all, push weld. It's then you can decide whether or not you like where it connects. It's fine for my purposes. So then, to add the numbers, what I have to do is grab a text box. Okay. And we'll zoom out a little. We'll put, let's say, 24. Okay, we'll bring it up. Then we will size it to where we want it inside of the teardrop or the water drop. Okay, so then what you do is you select all again and push slice. All right, so what that does is it slices it out of there. So then you can select both of those and push delete, and there you have it. There's your water drop. Then you can size it to whatever you want. This will distort the numbers a little if you unlock it. It's all up to you. So I've already done all that, so I'm going to delete that. I have put them here, so I'm going to push make it. So there are there they are on my mat. So now I'm going to put my piece of white vinyl on my light grip mat, which is blue, and I'm going to make this. So I'm gonna push continue. Go to vinyl. Okay, and I'm going to pause and put my vinyl on my mat. So here we go. I've loaded my mat. I can push fast mode if I want to, but I won't do it this time. I'm gonna push the flashing go button on my Cricut. So it's done cutting, and let's see if the camera can pick up where it cut. Let's, there it is. You can see them right there. They're less than half an inch. So now I'm gonna weed them. All right, so right now is where I wish I would have made a weeding box or cut my vinyl down more. Cause this vinyl, there's a lot of it left here and I would hate to waste all this, so I'm gonna use my scissors and cut these out so I can use this bigger chunk of vinyl again for another project. thing. I like to bend this to help get it 
to release. There we go. So if you can see, nice, beautiful cuts. Thank you, Cricut Maker. All right, then we'll get those little numbers out of there. Here's a quick note guys. So I said I was gonna remove the alcohol with uh, acetone. Well, that didn't go over so well. It immediately started taking stuff, the shiny part off the cup. So I went with a alcohol blender marker and it all came off beautifully. So don't use acetone.